Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a review of two neat little quadcopters I just got. That This is the Tiny 6 and then Tiny 7 Micro FPV uh, quadcopters. Now, both of these have uh, Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight control boards loaded up with Betaflight 3.0.1. But the difference between these two is mainly the size of the motors, the size of the quadcopter, um, and the amount of power that they have along with the, the power that's used to power these. Um, these have little 615 motors on them and along with, with being powered by a little 250 milliamp per hour uh, battery. And this one here has 720 uh, size motors being powered by a 500 milliamp per hour battery. Uh, actually, I, this is the first time I've seen a 500 milliamp per hour battery with this, uh, I believe it's called MCPX connector on it. First time I've, I've actually seen one of those, but um, they will, it will give it sufficient power. 500 milliamp hours uh, should give it sufficient power. We'll find out here shortly. Now, I have both of these set up. Uh, I went in again in the Betaflight, checked again, you know, both of these have uh, the current version of Betaflight, which makes it easy <laughs> to set up. But uh, these come available in both DSM, which is the ones I got right here, uh, they fly sky. Free Sky and even Futaba, so you got four different uh, bind and fly versions of this um, available for this. So uh, that should make it more popular with a lot of people having all four versions of that. So um, let's see. Again, I got the DSM uh, two version. I got mine set up with DSM two actually, and and with that in mind, there's a little button that you got to press. You know, this doesn't have SAT receivers in it. There, you have to go in there, press the button, while simultaneously plugging in the quadcopter to enter into bind mode. So you need to keep that in mind. Additionally, this has a little 800 TVL cameras, which is pretty darn good, uh, but there are only 16 channels. And the way you tell the channels is it has uh, flashing colored lights. So that's the way to tell the different channels of this uh, different quadcopter. Again, it's 25 milliwatt power on the FPV transmitter. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Tiny 6, which I got on the pad over there. And uh, putting on my FPV goggles, and we should be bound. And arming the quadcopter and Okay, I had it in, uh, I have uh, air mode, and now I'm going to start in, in acro. We're going to fly in acro mode, folks, and away we go. Let's see how this little thing performs in acro. Get a feel for it. Tiny little thing, this tiny six. I ain't kidding, it's tiny. But again, it's probably meant mainly for indoor flying, the tiny six. Um, it's... Not super super fast. Let's get it coming flying by us real close. So you can see it. This is the Tiny 6. Okay, let's take it up a bit higher and see if it can do anything like, like this. Yes, it can. <laughs> let's pick up speed on it a bit. There you go. So it could do that. Let's go down between the trees. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Where's that one that I always like to go through? Well, never mind. <laughs> I wasn't lined up for it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Going around. Let's line up for it properly. <laughs> I just made it through there. <laughs> so the Tiny Six, you know, is, is actually a neat little quadcopter. Coming down, coming close between us, zoom. Going around the trees. I hope I'm not making my wife dizzy, but there we are. Now, I don't know how much flight time you're gonna get out of this 250 milliamp per hour battery. Probably not a ton. Did it again, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's kind of nice. Let's see how much, let's take it up high again. I'm going to actually air mode. Just wanted to see that. Going up high again. Air mode. Going back to acro. Coming back toward it so you can see it flying by. But tiny little thing. I ain't kidding, it's tiny. But it's not a super fast, aggressive flyer. Uh, with the current bids at least it's not but it, it is meant obviously meant for doing uh, tight flying like that 
Let's see if I can go around uh, the bushes over here. Explore the area. Yes, you can. Go by the barrel, around the barrel. So actually, nice little quadcopter. I like the little tiny six. Gentle flyer. Gentle flyer and acro. <laughs> a little bit of wobble there. Coming down, try to flip. Try to do it by us. <laughs> Wobbly little thing there after you do a flip. Goes in a little bit of vortex ring state, but hey, I'm so also surprised by the flight time I'm getting out of this thing. It's with that little battery. Let's see if I can get fly it through here <laughs> easily <laughs> keep in mind I'm flying an acro folks okay it's battery's getting weak gonna make it to the pad probably not there you go that's the flight time okay let's try the tiny seven okay it's the tiny seven's turn got my goggles on um, arm going to acro and away we go Now, right away, I could tell this one's a lot, a lot different. Got quite a bit more pot flying power to it. Let's try... Uh, oh, yeah. It doesn't have any wobble after, after doing a loop. Okay, let's come down lower and try its maneuverability through the trees and that and such. I'm going to go around here. Coming through here first. Do a slow flyby to show it to you. My wife's gonna. That's the tiny seven in flight. Okay, let's go zigzagging through the trees. Now this one's, you know, these are meant to be uh, tiny whoop clones, meant for zipping around uh, indoors mainly. Actually, <laughs> this one does it. Let's see if I can get through the trees here. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, nice and maneuverable. The pins are set for general flying. This, let's see what type type of speed I can get. I'm gonna give it more throttle, more throttle, more throttle, and more push. That's about its max speed, but its range isn't too bad either. Coming down lower too. Going through the trees in the breeze. Actually, there's no breeze today. It's actually a perfect day for demonstrating this little quadcopter. So, all in all, you know, it's actually a little, you know, not super maneuverable, but a uh, gentle flyer. Slaloming through the trees. <laughs> and around that tree, and how about going around this tree? Okay, my FPV is getting a little little weak over there just a little bit of fuzz but actually still good coming back so yeah a nice little fire tiny seven folks Got that 500 milliamp per hour battery on it hopefully that'll give us longer flight time let's go up high with it just look around the area from up on high let's look at those uh I always like to look at these, the lights, going around the lights. Okay. Oops, it's gone. <laughs> I guess that's its uh, control range. Hold on, folks. I guess that was its range over there, about uh, 50 meters, 50, 60 meters. So let's go back up again. Uh, I got it armed in acro, and away we go again. So I'll keep that in mind. I don't want to go that far away. So for the remainder of this, let's let's get it moving. Let's see if I can get this thing moving. I'm going at higher speeds. I don't know what that rattling was. It might have been uh, tapping against some, you know, the props hitting some of the prop guards. But higher speeds through the trees. 
He's a quadcopter, the Tiny 7. I flew another one that was a nice one yesterday I liked was the Cheerson CX95S, but that's only available in um, Free Sky. This one here is available in all four flavors, <laughs> even Fataba. You don't normally see Fataba available for these little things, but this one is. So fun, 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 fun. Maneuverable little quadcopter. And the pids feel fine. Don't need to mess with the pids. Surprisingly enough, I like that when people actually fly, you know, the uh, developers actually fly these before releasing them. <laughs> that's, that's a big bonus in my opinion. <laughs> there are some ma manufacturers out there, we know who they are, <laughs> that you know they never flew their quadcopter before putting it out to the public. You know, why, why do they do that? But yeah, this one's been flown, and the pids are tuned. So it's actually a nice little quadcopter. I like it. Let's see, come through there. Very maneuverable little thing. Right? I'm probably giving my wife a big headache right now. <laughs> Ow, I just got slapped. Okay, do I got more power? Yeah, I still got power. Zipping it around. Zoom. Great, great little quad. Tiny. This one's the better of the two, if you're wondering. Okay, I'm, I'm losing power here. So I'll keep it close for the remainder here. But the better of the two is this one, folks. Obviously, the Tiny 7, it's, it's much faster, actually much more maneuverable than the Tiny 6. And uh, a lot more fun. So, I like that one. Uh, I'll take the hat, my love. Is it still recording? Yes, it is. Uh, point me in the direction. Oh, there I go. <laughs> so, that was the Tiny 7. I like this one. This one's a lot of fun. So, I hope you enjoyed that flight. Um, of the two, I recommend, highly recommend this one here. It's Quadcopter 101, signing out.